this mini clip, we'll be discussing the domain of logarithmic functions. While we answer this question together, you'll be solving a similar problem on your own using the same technique. We are asked to find the domain of this expression. To begin, we're going to look at the numerator. Because we have a square root in our numerator, we need to ensure that the number underneath the square root is positive. In other words, we want 1 minus 2 to the exponent t to be greater than or equal to 0. So the first restriction is that 1 minus 2 to the exponent t must be greater than or equal to 0. Isolating for t, we bring the 1 to the other side of the inequality sign. And when we do this, it becomes negative. We're now going to get rid of this negative in front of the 2 to the exponent t. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 1. Now remember, because we're dividing by negative number, we need to change our inequality sign. So we will have 2 to the exponent t is less than or equal to 1. Because our t is in the exponent, in order to isolate for t, we need to take the ln of both sides. So we're going to have here ln of 2 to the exponent t is less than or equal to the ln of 1. The reason why we do this is because if we remember our properties, we can rewrite this so that the exponent, which in our case is t, can be rewritten in front of our ln. So this will be written as t ln of 2 is less than or equal to ln of 1 is equal to 0, if we remember our properties. Now this is easy to isolate for t, because we can divide both sides by ln of 2. And we'll have 0 divided by ln of 2. These divide out to 1. So we have t is less than or equal to. Now 0 divided by ln of 2 is going to be 0. I now want you to try this step in the problem you are given. Here is the answer you should have got. Going back to our question, we now need to look at our denominator. If you can remember from previous years, the denominator can never equal 0. So our second restriction is going to be that ln t plus 3 cannot equal 0. We need to isolate for our t, but because we have this ln here, we need to raise this to the exponent of e. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So this is going to be written as e, and this is going to become the exponent. ln of t plus 3 cannot equal. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to have e to the exponent 0. The reason why we do this is because, remember our properties, when we have e to the exponent ln of some number, this can be rewritten as t plus 3 in our case. Whatever the number is here, this is what it's going to equal. So we have t plus 3 cannot equal, and e to the exponent 0 is one of our properties, so we know that it equals 1. Now this is very easy to solve for t. We're going to have t cannot equal 1, and we're going to bring this 3 to the other side, 1 minus 3. And lastly, we'll have that t cannot equal negative 2. I would now like you to state the restriction for the denominator found in your question. Here's the answer you should have got. Now, you might be tempted to think that we are done finding our restrictions on t. However, because there's this lawn in front of the t here, we need to ensure that the number is positive, because we can only take the lawn of positive numbers. 
So t plus 3 must be positive. So our third restriction is t plus 3 must be greater than 0. Now isolating for t, we'll bring the 3 to the other side, make it negative. So we'll have t is greater than negative 3. I would now like you to find this last restriction on the question you were given. Here is the restriction you should have found. Now we need to combine all three of these restrictions to find our overall domain. In order to do this, I'm going to draw a number line because this will help us visualize the restrictions that we have found. So here we have our number line. The first restriction we found is that t is less than or equal to 0. Because it's equal to 0, I'm going to draw a closed circle to indicate this. We know it can be anything less than 0 or equal to it. Our second restriction is that t cannot equal negative 2. So I'm going to draw an open circle on top of the negative 2 to indicate this. Lastly, we have t is greater than negative 3. Now, because it cannot equal negative 3, I need to draw an open circle on top of the negative 3. And we know it's going to be anything greater than negative 3. So essentially, we have the interval from negative 3, but not including negative 3, up until 0 and including 0, however, excluding the number negative 2. So our overall domain will be domain, we're going to have a squiggly bracket, t such that. Now we have the interval from negative 3 less than t, not including, so just less than, which is less than or equal to 0. Now we need to include that t cannot equal negative 2. And then we also need to write that t belongs to all reals. So this here is our final answer. I would now like you to find the overall domain for the question you were given. This is how your final answer should look like.